Hello everyone, so I'm just sat in my bathroom as you can see I'm at a hotel, this isn't like a normal filming background for me. So this week I'm doing work experience for actually the company that made the camera that I'm filming on at the moment. Canon's one of like the biggest technology companies in the world and I feel so privileged to be able to do it. I'm also nervous, I don't know what to expect. I'm there's just so many emotions going on so I thought I'd film it as like something to look back on it's something exciting happening in my life so I thought I'd document it I'm currently in a holiday inn I'm staying at Gatwick I don't mind saying that because I'm gonna post it when I get back it's not like I'm gonna be daily vlogging here I don't have time like I won't be able to bring my camera in I don't think I'll be able to talk about it in my lunch breaks and I'll be able to come back here and like discuss what happened and like maybe I can get some clips off of it like I don't know what I'll be able to can and can't show. I'm not gonna be walking around with my camera at like a work placement. Also, the like tiles kind of clash in here, but it's fine. I'm not gonna worry about that. I've just finished watching Love Island. It is the Monday night. I've driven up from my house, which took about three hours, which was fun in my little Igo. But I'll speak to you guys in the morning when I've woken up. It's daylight and I can film somewhere other than the bathroom. Also, when I don't look like absolute shit. But before it gets trashed, this is my room. I've got two single beds, which I don't mind about like I can happily stay a single it's only me in here I've just been watching Love Island I've got my bag there got some food got my suitcase everything is sorted right so I'm gonna try and do this before all natural light fades it's currently like 7 30 saying that though we are in June the sunlight will stay for like another two hours I might film a video actually today was really interesting I didn't really know what to expect I didn't vlog this morning purely because I was in such a rush like I went downstairs for 7 30 and even for school I don't wake up until 7 50 so it was a bit of a struggle wake up at 6 30 I was like what am I doing but I went in today with an open mind I met with the head of HR or kind of like the manager of HR for Canon we've been emailing like back and forth for a bit and that's kind of how I mainly got into Canon I got in through my mum's friend Bev I think I explained that and then the head of HR helped me out and got me sorted with all the people inside of Canon. So anyway, today I didn't really know what to expect. All I really know about Canon is that they make the camera that I'm using at the moment. They make home printers, they sell stuff in curries, that's all I really know. So I went in with an open mind, I didn't really know what to expect and I was put onto the bid team today. Now the bid team is really confusing and I didn't get it for like a long time that I was there and then it all kind of clicked into place and I was like actually this is really cool, I didn't know this existed. Basically not only is Canon a company for consumer electronics is also providing for businesses which I didn't think of so in schools where there's printers in like big companies where they need those like huge printing rooms basically Canon provides for them and I didn't realize that that was a thing like I just assumed in my head oh they must buy it from like curries but no they need massive massive teams for that basically the bid teams work on this thing known as a tender they get a set of criteria from schools and places like that like, that's the best example I can give schools have the criteria for kind of like the printers they want the facilities that they need and then the team at Canon kind of work on bidding and stuff because they don't just send those criteria to Canon They send it to like all of Canon's competitors and each of these companies have a bid team as well What the bid team do is they see if it's a viable option for them to compete with and then they go for it And then they basically either win the bid of the customer or they lose it and they've wasted their time so i didn't know this area existed and there's actually like a fair few roles in it there's like consultants practitioners like you can work your way up and you can get qualifications in it and this hadn't even crossed my mind like for so long all i've thought about is like digital marketing like marketing side of it i haven't thought of sales because i thought if you had to work in sales you had to be like a salesman like you had to be good like the gift of the gaff basically because although i feel like i do have people skills now i don't think I'm that confident enough to be a salesman, but I didn't consider there were other elements of sales that didn't involve directly talking to like face-to-face -face customers. I thought sales was literally like you walked up to them and you were like, hi, can I sell you this product? Whereas it's like sales with like massive, massive companies. It's is weird. It's really cool and I really really enjoyed it and didn't realise that that was even like a possibility. Tomorrow I kind of know what I've got in store now because I've got my itinerary. I've got the people at Canon that will kind of like support me because I went in today with mum's friend Bev. Whereas tomorrow I'm going in completely by myself like I'm staying here tonight by myself even though I was yesterday like properly by myself because Bev was like a few rooms down. And yeah I'll see what the day brings. I'm working on marketing within consumer electronics tomorrow so kind of like the cameras, how they market like desktop printers and and stuff like that. A lot of Canon is printing, which I didn't realise. When I think of Canon, I think of the camera that I'm using, like big DSLRs and stuff like that. I don't think of the printers that they most often use. So yeah, I'll catch up with you hopefully tomorrow morning, if not tomorrow evening. I didn't really film inside of Canon today because it wasn't appropriate. It's just like a nine to five office, but it's not appropriate to film in there because 
why would you? To be fair, the sun's going down and it actually looks really nice out. Not that I have anything to do, I'm just sat in my hotel room. Look how small my car is compared to the rest of the car park. <laughs> Good morning everyone, it is day two of my work experience, day three I've been in this hotel room, but day two of my experience. Today I'm doing marketing for CIG Electronics, so that's like consumer stuff, like this camera. It's currently 7.14, I've been up since 6.30, which is kind of like a shot to the system, but I'm ready for the day. So hi guys, this is my OTD, very fresh, very cute. Very cool. It's literally a white shirt, trousers, and then I need to put my jacket on, and I forgot my tie. Today I'm going to try and film a bit more, because I'm on my own, I can kind of feel less awkward getting my camera out. I'm not going to film me doing the actual work experience, but I can film me, like, going to the premises, and, like, me going down for breakfast and stuff like that. So I will see you on the other side, because I probably won't talk until then. <laughs> So it is now day three of my Canon work experience. I can't remember if I vlogged earlier or whether this is the first time you've seen me today. Hopefully I'll include some clips of me like walking into HQ. I haven't really vlogged much today either just because it's not appropriate. I honestly hate myself. I don't know why I keep reiterating that it's not appropriate. You know by now that it's not appropriate. New drinking game, take a shot every time that I say that it's not appropriate. But I did get my camera out because of something quite exciting which I'll talk about in a bit. So today I worked with the consumer marketing team. I have told you about this before because I remember doing this this morning. But basically today I worked on how Canon kind of market their cameras, what their competition are like. Basically all the consumer elements of Canon which is kind of what everyone basically knows Canon for. So in the marketing team it talks about how different things are promoted and how different products make it out to different retailers and stuff like that like it's really interesting I don't know how much I can go into depth with it because I don't know if I'll get in trouble for like speaking about it I don't think that I will because I'm not disclosing anything that's upcoming but I was part of a meeting about something very exciting that actually kind of affects me other people in this industry yeah tomorrow i'm working with the business side of marketing i'm not sure how that will go because i knew today i would find it really really enjoyable and i think for me it's kind of reassured me that marketing is an area that i want to go into even if it means that i'm on like a shit salary to begin with i'm on a rubbish apprenticeship as long as i get my qualifications and kind of build myself up i think that's where i kind of want to be and it feels so good to kind of know what i want to do now and like i can build on that i'm probably going to watch love island tonight i'll vlog if I have kind of like any other thoughts. Last night I was going to vlog, I wasn't in like a very good mindset, but I thought this vlog is meant to be quite positive and for me to kind of include all aspects for it. It's not me being fake, but I just want to make it a positive thing to look back on instead of me documenting exactly how I feel, if that makes sense. So yeah, I'll catch you guys either tomorrow, later, whenever I next decide to vlog. Might even do another time lapse, or maybe that's just a bit awkward because the time lapse might not have made it into this vlog. <laughs> So it is currently almost midnight and my alarm is set for 6.30. I don't know if I'll actually be able to get up in the morning. Oh my god. I regret staying up this late. I didn't mean to. I was just on my phone before I knew it, it was 12 o'clock. So I'll see you in the morning if I wake up. I set my iPad alarm as well because the only charging point in the room is right on the other side, which is helpful. Morning everyone. So I'm just getting suited up. Every time I say that, it just reminds me of Barney of How I Met Your Mother because he's always like, suit up. Suit up. And suit up. And suit up! Today, I'm not going to explain again what I'm going to do. I'll explain it afterwards because then I'll have an understanding because at the moment, I don't actually have a clue. We have actually got all right weather today, though. Like, yesterday, it was so cloudy in the morning, but I came out of the office and I was like, oh, my God. Because, basically, once I go into the office at, like, 8, I won't come out again until, like, 5, and then it's boiling, and I'm like, oh, my God. So, I forgot to vlog, I'm literally rubbish, I'm currently watching Love Island, but I'm actually muting it for this video. My week for Canon work experience is coming to a close. I've only got one day left, and it's not even a full day, it's three hours in the office, and then I'm driving back home, which will be another three hours. The light at the moment is fading, it's currently nine o'clock, so that's a bit of an issue. But I realised I hadn't updated the vlog when I was packing my suitcase, because obviously I've got to check out tomorrow. I've got to pack everything, and I actually brought more stuff than I realised. I don't know how I fit it in my little car in the first place, let alone now, also, hello. So today was a really, really positive experience for me. I really enjoyed it. I did the business side of marketing, whereas yesterday I did the consumer side. So the business was how they market kind of like their printers and big photo things to different categories, such as architecture, services, public sector. There was another one, I think manufacturing, I'm not too sure. But it was a really, really good day. I really enjoyed it. And it showed me like a different side to it because when I think of Canon, again, I think of these cameras, not the business side. And actually the business side is more interesting than I thought. Like I came away from it actually 
feeling like I'd learned something. I got back to my hotel room and just the work experience has provided me this spark that I kind of know what I want to do in my life now. Like it's been really, really interesting. And when I say I know what I want to do in my life, I know where I want to start and I know where I can build from to get to where I want to be. And before this, I didn't really have like a goal. Like I didn't, I didn't have any motivation to start looking for jobs, to start actually like starting my life. Uh, conveniently, as soon as I got back, I checked the apprentice website and lo and behold, the perfect apprenticeship came up a mile away from where I live. And all the other apprenticeships for like digital marketing, social media marketing and everything are about 30 miles away in either Swindon or Bristol. So it was literally in my area, it was perfect. So basically the main thing I'm taking away from this work experience is how a, I kind of know that I want to do marketing, PR, that kind of area of business. And also I want to work in kind of like a corporate environment or somewhere that kind of like is office based, like that works with me. It doesn't work with a lot of people. I know a lot of people dread sitting down working nine to five, but that routine is kind of, I've worked out as what I thrive off. Like I work well getting up in the morning, doing my work, finishing. It just works well for me personally. And that's quite like an odd thing to say, like nobody looks forward to like an office job, but I genuinely this week have really, really enjoyed work in like an office environment. I don't know if that's reflected through these vlogs because I haven't really vlogged like actually in Canon which is surprising considering literally I'm using their product to showcase what I'm doing there but it just doesn't feel appropriate. I literally hate myself. But anyway I have one day left. I'm in the comms team tomorrow so that's basically like PR, social media, all that kind of thing and also hopefully I'll meet the head of Canon who is Stephen Bates. I've been in contact with both him and his personal assistant and hopefully tomorrow I can have like a conversation with him, see how he got to where he is and kind of just have a discussion about Canon. And then I'm heading home so I'm not sure how much of tomorrow I will vlog. <laughs> because I've got to be in like a bit of a rush to check out, have a bit of a rush there, but I might vlog like in the car, I might do not a drive with me, but just discussing my overall experience. But if I don't, then I can personally say like, working at Canon has been one of the best kind of career focused decisions that I've ever made. If there's an opportunity like it near you, I would definitely recommend kind of getting involved in it. Like it changed so much of how I think and how I process things. I can't speak it like it's changed my mentality so much. And it's inspired me to kind of go out there and pursue things myself because I've seen like like-minded individuals individuals and people who are in the same situation as me, people who didn't want to go to university, people that did go to university, people who have been in the industry for 20 years and seen it adapt, people that are new, interns, like there's been so many different kind of insights into it. And this video may have been so boring to watch, but for me it's one of the most exciting things I probably have ever ever done and I needed to document it for me to look back on and see actually this is where I got the spark for it and everything because I hoped that was what I would get out of it and I have. But yeah I'll see you guys tomorrow. If not and knowing me it won't be I don't film anymore. Then thank you for watching this video. I don't really expect anyone to be watching up to this point because it's not very interesting for anyone else. But yeah I will see you all next time. Goodbye.